Yes, hello everyone. Welcome on Upedia platform. I am Vishal Sharma. And guys, again, I am here in front of you with the one NPTEL assignment question. As you know, guys, we have launched this NPTEL assignment series. And in this particular series, guys, we are solving all important NPTEL assignment question. I hope you are having this NPTEL assignment booklet with you, guys, because this book we launched last year and in this book you are going to find out so many lots of NPTEL assignment question so very good NPTEL questions we have included in this booklet guys which are very very good very very important for gate and the uh, examinations like ISRO and DRDO okay so I picked one question uh, from heat transfer if you go to chapter 3.1 guys you are going to find out uh, question number 5 okay so this is question number 5th uh, from heat transfer conduction chapter chapter 3.1 Okay, the question is related to conduction, heat transfer, uh, the rear window of an automobile. So, this is a particular question guys we are going to discuss, very typical gate level question, very fundamental concept we are going to discuss and through this you will be able to recall some of the basic concepts related to heat transfer, conduction, heat transfer. Okay, so let me put it here guys, the question in front of you, this is the question guys, the rear window of an automobile is defogged by passing warm air, so this is warm air guys warm air over its inner surface the warm air has a temperature of 40 degrees celsius and corresponding convection heat transfer coefficient is 30 watt per meter square kelvin so this is inside air temperature this is inside convection heat transfer coefficient the ambient temperature the ambient outside ambient uh, fluid is available at minus 10 degrees celsius outside convection heat transfer coefficient is 65 if the glass is 4 mm thick and the conductivity of the glass is 1.4 watt per meter Kelvin, then what is the outside surface temperature? He is asking you the outside surface temperature. I hope the question is very clear. Although he has not mentioned steady state, but you can go with this. Steady state heat transfer. Steady state heat transfer. In gate, he is going to mention guys. Very clearly, they are going to mention in gate. Consider the body is in steady state means there is no accumulation of the energy whatever heat is entering that same heat is going out okay so he is going to mention and here just for your convenience i mentioned here the steady state heat transfer okay so this is a nad type question guys numerical answer type question in gate you are going to find out three type of question mcq conventional multiple choice question in which you will have four options and you need to answer any one of the option okay multiple choice question second one are what NAT type, I think they introduced these kind of questions in year 12 or 30. Okay, so NAT in, in these questions you need to answer numerically, so you need to feed some answer. Okay, so for these questions they are going to provide you some range. Okay, based on the decimal which you are considering. Okay, so if you are going with one decimal, at least one decimal you need to consider, guys. Okay, after uh, de one dec uh, decimal point, one uh, unit you need to consider, and if you are going with that up to one decimal place. Uh, approximation calculation if you are carrying out you will get the answer in the range okay so that answer uh, you need to feed and if your answer is going to fall in the range you will get the marks for this question otherwise there will be no negative marking so for NAT and MSQ multiple select question these are the these are kind of question they introduced last year only 2022 multiple select questions MSQ third type of question you are going to find out in gate Although only one, two questions you are going to find out MSQ type, but this year they can uh, go with some more MSQ type question. So the MSQ, you need to answer more than one option. So one more than one options may be correct. Okay. So you need to select multiple options. Okay. So those are MSQ type. So this is the NAD type question guys. So let me frame this question for you so that you will get some idea. So this is the rear window guys, something like this. This is the rear window of the automobile, something like this. The rear window thickness is 4 mm. So this is 4 mm. The inside temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. Inside convection heat transfer coefficient. So suppose this is T infinity 1. This is H1 is 30 watt per meter square Kelvin. The outside temperature T infinity 2 is minus 10 degrees Celsius. And the outside convection heat transfer coefficient is 65 watt per meter square Kelvin. The conductivity of this glass. Conductivity of glass is 1.4 watt per meter kelvin so this is the question guys and what is asking you so i frame this question for you this is the glass guys through which heat is going to conduct okay and he is asking you this outside surface temperature this is ts guys this ts you need to find out outside surface temperature so these are the in in, in uh, you know interior conditions these are the exterior conditions and he is asking you glass outside temperature okay 
So now guys, you know, in steady state, whatever is the heat convecting this side, Q convection, the same is going to conduct through the material, okay, and the same is going to convect out of the body. In steady state, there will be no accumulation. Q in equal to Q out. So Q convection equal to Q conduction, and that is equal to Q convection. So in that case, considering the steady state, you can write Q equal to, let me consider this and this temperature. You know guys, Q is nothing but what? Q equal to delta T divided by summation of R thermal. Q we can write it as delta T by summation of R thermal. So let me write, let me consider the temperature as this and this, 40 minus T s. So Q equal to 40 minus T s. Then how many resistances are there between this and this temperature? So between this and this, there are two resistances. One is the convection resistance inside, another one is the conduction resistance of the glass. So there are two resistances. So let me write it here first, convection resistance. So it will be 1 by H1 A1. So this will be 1 by H1 is 30, A is A. So 1 by H1 A, so this is in uh, inside convection resistance. Then the conduction resistance will be B by K A. So 4 into 10 key power minus 3. B by K A, K is the 1.4 into area will remain same guys because here the area will be area of exposure, the area of the glass and then again in conduction the area is going to remain same. Why? Because this is the glass, something like this. So this is the area of exposure and this is the same area you need to take in case of conduction because in conduction we are interested in the area perpendicular to direction of heat transfer. So area is same. Okay. So that's why this area and this area both are same. So further, this Q, you can write it as like this also, Q between uh, considering temperature Ts and this. So this Q, you can write it as Ts minus minus 10. Then how many resistances are there between this and this, guys? There is only one resistance, one convection resistance, and that is 1 by HA. So 1 by outside HA, so means 55, 65 into area. Area is remain same. Because whatever is the area here, the same is the conduction area, the same is the area outside. So this area will cancel out and if you compare this and this there is only one unknown guys in this there is only one unknown and that unknown is what ts so comparing this you will get the surface temperature okay i hope this very basic concept the steady state heat transfer and how to approach these kind of questions is very clear to you so solving this you will get the surface temperature and let me provide you the answer guys the answer for this question is 4.916 i think 4.916 degree Celsius. Okay, 4.916 degree Celsius. This answer you are going to get, and they have provided us the range, guys. Actually, we are getting exact mid of that range. So they provided the range 4.7 5.1. So this is the range, guys. In gate also you are going to get uh, some range. Okay. So if you are answering in this range. If you are feeding the data answer in this range 4.7 to 5.1, then they will give you the marks. Otherwise, if your answer is falling out of the range, then you are not going to get the marks for that question. Okay. So for this question, if you are going with all the instructions uh, correct to one decimal place you are considering and if you are, uh, you know, carrying out the calculation effectively, you are going to get the exact mid of that range 4.916, something like that. Okay. So very simple, basic fundamental question we have solved. I hope. Uh, this question is very clear. Again, we will meet and we will solve some more questions from the NPTEL assignment booklet. So please keep keep preparing. And yes, uh, in case of any query or doubt, you can shoot your query in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck and keep preparing.